Hey gang, Diana here today and I am playing with gouache paints. I just got a set from Windsor and & Newton and they're real high quality gouache paints. And the difference uh, between gouache and watercolor is just that the gouache is uh, not translucent. It is um, opaque. And of course, some colors are more opaque than other colors, as with most paints. And I'm just trying to show you the colors here, but uh, that didn't work so well. So the first color there was a cool red, uh, Bengal rose. I also could, you could use uh, opera rose there. The second color is called, uh, this is a spectrum red. And then we have Naples Yellow, which is a warm, um, pale golden yellow. I, I do like it, but I think I should have gotten an ochre instead there. Next, we have um, a primary yellow, a yellow deep, permanent deep yellow. And then the next yellow is Brilliant Lemon, a very nice, cool lemon yellow and then olive green which of course is a beautiful yellowy green I'm thinking I could probably get plenty more greens from the blues and yellows that I have and the blues are we have uh, um, these are primary blue and a um, another blue I can't quite read I'm gonna put the everything oh it's Windsor blue which is a beautiful, cool blue, warmer blue, sorry. And then finally, Spectrum Violet. And I also have a tube of Zinc White. And I'm just showing you my brush here. The brush I'm using is a Spectrum uh, brush from, I think it's called Scepter Gold. And I, I like these brushes. They are also made by Windsor Newton. I've been using these for years. And they're a nice brush. They don't lose hairs all over the place. They're, they're uh, reasonably priced, um, uh, high-quality brushes. So, uh, But they are synthetic. So if uh, you're looking for a good brush, I'll link all these things down below. And here I'm just blending things out just to see how they blend together. I've used, I've used Windsor Newton paints for years. Uh, the watercolors were the first watercolors I used. I, uh, they make a really high quality product and these are the top of the line artist series. They, they make a, another series and I have to be completely honest with you and say that um, I would rather see you buy three paints and a white, three colors and a white, and have a good experience with a decent paint and a decent brush on good paper than buy cheaper paints. Uh, that's just my opinion and you can certainly get less expensive paints and I will link to less expensive paints over at Blick. But um, that's just my experience. The higher pigmented paints are in the long run a, a better bang, you get better bang for your buck because they just last longer. The, the paint goes a lot further but that is your budget and I would say if, if it's a difference between not trying out a new product uh, because you can't get the higher quality product, then definitely get something so you can try them out. I'm looking forward to using these uh, with my watercolors and with my other paints in my journal because I think they're, since they're a lighter paint and more matte finish, they will be really nice in a journal, but give you that opaque coverage that you sometimes want. And now you can see I am just um, watering these down a little bit, and you can see how they do become translucent and less pigmented once you start to water them down. But these are beautiful colors. I'm super happy with these. It's the first time I've had an, a set of... Um, these uh, gouache paints, and uh, I've used the white uh, it, it, with my watercolors over the years, but I'm really happy to be using these. They're really nice to mix, and once again, I do use them. I, I put out the palette. For some reason, I put it out in reverse, red, you know, the rainbow order, 
and uh, I wish I had gotten a folding closed palette for these because I'll just leave them in the palette and let them dry over and then squirt them with water when I want to use them to reconstitute them a little bit. But um, now I'm just mixing some oranges here and you'll see the, the colors are beautiful. I just fell in love with these these colors. Uh, I think this is a pretty nice uh, palette to start with. As I said, I probably should have gotten um, another, the, the ochre yellow. I should have gotten a maybe a phthalo green, but I went with the colors I love. And I think that that is a good idea. Go with what you love, the colors you love. And then you can add a couple more, but I will link up just the three primaries that I would get to start with. And then there's usually two of each red, yellow, blue that you, you would use to make a full palette. And I will, I will sort that out for you and put it in the links. And there's some white over there now. I'm just going to start to see how the whites, how it works with the white. That is this the spectrum purple um, that I sort of splurged on that as an extra because I love purple. But you can see how nicely that tints out. I really recommend that whenever you get a new art product, you sit down and play with it. It's a it's so much fun to just play and really develop kind of what I kind of think of as a bond with my paints and you just begin to see what they can do and it's so relaxing and just so much fun. I'm using, um, looks like I'm using a smaller brush here. I like to think a half inch flat brush and a maybe a number 10 round is a good selection of uh, brushes to start with. And again, I would get a decent brush and plenty of decent brushes out here these days that are synthetic but that work really well. They're soft. The ones you use with watercolor are the same as for gouache. You want a soft brush and um, you can use synthetic your whole life. I just recently got a couple of brushes that are partial sable. They're not even full sable. Now here's a piece uh, from a previous video uh, that was a piece of paper that I uh, one of the printed out text that says Merry Christmas across it and I put through my mink machine and that is available as a free download it just has Christmas words on the background of the paper that I printed out and then sent through my mink machine I printed it out on laser and I just went over the background with some gouache and there's a nice glisten of foil coming through and then you can see that the gouache is that green gouache is really covering up that red background so it's very opaque paint it's real nice but it does have the lifting qualities uh, that you find in watercolors it's not does not sink in and permanently sink into the paper. You can do some lifting with it, which I love, you know, about, that's one of the qualities I love about watercolors. So there you have it. I hope everyone is having a really nice holiday weekend. It's Thanksgiving 2015. And just an idea for a journal page or a background and, um, an introduction to gouache paints. Have a great weekend, everyone. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are on my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. And please leave comments if you have information to share or um, examples to share of work with gouache. I'd love to look at what you're doing. So have a great time this weekend, and I'll see you soon.